Selective resection epilepsy surgery is a minimally invasive procedure that removes a small, precise part of the brain that causes seizures. Seizures, for instance, basically um, destroy that area of the brain's ability to behave normally anyway. So that part's not working well. So if we go after that, usually what we find is that the brain itself actually does better. You take the bad source of the electronics out, the rest of the computer works better. The benefits of this surgery are less complications and better outcomes in eliminating or greatly reducing seizures. The data we published recently shows that anywhere between 73 to 90 percent of people going through a selective amygdalo hippocampectomy, which is a very limited resection of the brain, can have either no seizures at two years or one seizure over two years when they may have been having many a week. Selective resection epilepsy surgery is for patients who've been on two different seizure medications that have not worked. And most patients having this surgery usually leave the hospital in a day or two. The WVU Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute has a comprehensive epilepsy center with an experienced team of experts who have years of experience in cutting edge epilepsy procedures. In the United States, there's probably under 30 or 40 comprehensive epilepsy centers that perform all levels of epilepsy workup and surgery. Um, we're lucky to have one here in West Virginia. It takes a team of people to really understand how to find seizures, how to operate on them with low risk and high success, or how to treat them medically. We have at least probably 10 to 20 specialists in this area alone for adults and children. For the WVU Medicine Health Report, I'm Mary Ravazio-Menard.